a truck uh, pumping antibiotics into my body with an IV bag and then flushing all the lines with heparin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I couldn't qualify for um, social services or any of those things. Right. I basically just, well, every four hours I was pumping myself with an IV, and I did that for about the next 70 days. Well, a few friends got together. They just couldn't understand it, and they gave me the money to come up here to Maine, and they said the people in Maine will help you. About six months later, I finally was allowed to join a program. And this program was the Veterans Career House in Bitterford, Maine. Uh, I didn't have to claim to be an alcoholic. I didn't have to claim to be a drug addict. I didn't have to claim to be a uh, mental patient. I was allowed to tell them just what I was. I was just a broke down old sea dog in need of medical care. <laughs> that, and that's your uh, emblem right now, old sea dog, right? Well, after 30 some odd years, what else can I call myself? <laughs> so, uh, so your story uh, that uh, kind of like uh, along with myself, um, you was homeless. Now, how long was you homeless here for a while there, Mark? <laughs> Them near three and a half years, bud. Wow. Well, I, I could only say nobody I was homeless will hire for about you when three and a half broke. months. I'm sorry. Nobody will hire you when your arms broke. Yeah. It don't matter what you know. Right. Right. Well, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the Lord puts us down to the very bottom so we could see what's up top of us, uh, and then He draws us closer to Him, so we could help those that are in distress. I think that's exactly what happened that I could see what happened with you. Uh, you know, sometimes that, that's what the Lord does with us. Uh, I know you're doing a great thing right now with the veterans, uh, the homelessness. Could you tell me a little bit about your website and a little bit about uh, what you're doing for the homeless? Well, how do I say this? Okay, I'm here in a facility that is a godsend, and it's designed for homeless veterans. And it's, it's, it's a unique place. To the best of my knowledge, there's no other program in the United States like this. And one of the administrators mentioned to me that they would like to see this facility as a model throughout the state of Maine. And me being the old chief that I am said, well, by God, let's go make that happen. Right. Okay. And, uh, well, being how this facility is funded through the VA, okay, the VA can't do these kind of things directly. So I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Now, I don't want to get nobody in any troubles or anything like that. So I decided to call this thing Homes for Homeless Pets because that's what it is. Right. I want to help organize, okay, various different funding groups, various different uh, support services, uh, individuals. I could care less who it is. Okay, I'll be honest about that. And get more houses. So more veterans can get off the street, can have the blessings that this place is giving me. I, well, well, now, Mark, I have a problem. Yeah, well, Mark, okay. let me mention I'm this. I'm an old diehard chief. Yes, sir. I'm not politically correct. I am very blunt, which doesn't it, you know, uh, bureaucrats in suits, they don't take very kindly to that sort of thing. No, uh, I understand that. And I try to be nice about it, but, well, I'm not doing that part so well. So, uh, can I ask you if there's any good administrator out there that would like to help get my family okay, a little better organized? I sure appreciate you coming up. That'd be great. Well, I would say that leaves me out because I can't even organize my underwear. <laughs> but I can get the word out. I know, I know how to stumble on these words, you know, because uh, I'm not, the, uh, like I said before, I'm not the sharpest pencil in the desk. And a lot of people look at me like my butter done slipped off my biscuit. And uh, I got to say I agree with them. And, uh, but, uh, 
You know, what we're doing, Mark, what we're doing, we're just a couple good old boys that are out there just uh, doing it. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there, they, they wait. What would be the best time to start doing it? What would, what would happen? Uh, what can I do? Uh, let me get some money saved. Let me do this. Let me do that. But, you know, some good old boys like us, we just do it. We may not have a lot of money to get it started, but we do it. And uh, once we get the ball rolling, the snowball rolling, it starts rolling down that hill. It starts picking up a little more snow. It gets a little dirty snow, but we could clean that off. And then it keeps on growing and growing, and then it becomes successful. But you got to get out there and get your feet wet. You got to get your hands dirty, and you just got to do it. And uh, that's what I admire about you so much, Mark. Uh, uh, now, can you tell us a little bit about that website of yours? I looked at that website. Uh, uh, I've never seen a website like it out there, and uh, uh, I, I tell you, it's, uh, it's how can somebody uh, that might have a buck or two that wants to set on their duff, I, that's okay, set on your duff, just, just bring out a little greenbacks, and uh, how can they help you out, Mark? How can they help you help these veterans, these homeless veterans, to get not only get jobs, but to get them uh, back on the right track to get jobs. Because I know you're, uh, uh, you're focused on helping these veterans, these homeless veterans, not only helping them out, but helping them actually get jobs themselves, right? Well, yes, sir, okay. Uh, in fact, I'm very blessed. We have a construction company here that's been in business for the last 31 years that is foaming at the mouth to start hiring veterans. And once I told them about the CWT program and how that works and the VA funding for it, okay, they're all over it. They're talking to everybody and his damn brother, okay? I, I'm getting calls from people that are roofers, okay? People that, uh, you know, go in and do flooring, okay? You name it. You would not believe the response I'm getting from that. Well, that's great. It, it, it's just phenomenal. Uh, as far as taking money, to be honest, Okay, I don't want any money. Well, I know you don't, okay. but, we, but the, the program still needs money to operate. Well, see, the thing is, I, I, buddy, I got $12 in my pocket. I, can't, I don't have the money to form a corporation, okay, and in order to set up a PayPal account in order to do this. All right, so I'm not asking for money. One day I'll have the money and I can do that sort of thing. But I don't even know what all the legalities are. I'd hate to take money from somebody and not use it properly or the way the legal system wants it used. Right. That's why I'm asking for someone who knows how to do that to do that for me. Right. Now, I'll go out there and I'll kick the doors down. I'll grab the companies in. I'll snatch the veteran off the street and put the two people together. I'll go down to the local university and get this kid enrolled in school and get his education going. But I don't know squat about running a corporation. And now, wouldn't I be really stupid, okay, to try and do something that I don't know nothing about? Or wouldn't it be a hell of a lot better if I stay with what I know and get someone who knows how to do that to do it? That, that is right. Just like uh, when we talked about, you always talked about the fact that you surround yourself uh, with, uh, with, comp with uh, good people, smart people. And uh, and then you go ahead and do it yourself. Uh, I I really want to commend you. I tell you, uh, I really think that uh, what you're uh, you're focus on, and uh, just like myself, it's it's kind of weird how how what goes around comes around. At one time you was homeless. Now you was homeless for about three three years. I was homeless for about three months. Oh. But I know I know one thing, Mark. When you're homeless. You don't, you're, you're so ashamed of yourself, at least I was in the little time I was homeless. You're so ashamed of yourself, and you don't want uh, people to help you. Now, for those uh, moms and dads out there that may have a family member that might be homeless, uh, how can you give them the uh, satisfaction of knowing that that GI child of theirs uh, that he will come home, or how do, how will she be able to approach him 